I was going to tell you that your time was up, but actually you've just finished bang on time. So we've been able to hear somebody uh, who's a company manager say that they need entrepreneurial uh, workers, not just to create companies, but to be entrepreneurial within the company itself. And in fact, Jorge explained yesterday that one of the axes of our plan was this entrepreneurial attitude. So if it's okay with you, we're now going to listen to somebody talk about this. And it's Lady who's going to talk to us. Off you go, Lady. So when you talk about entrepreneurship, what sort of programs do we have? Can you explain a little bit about them, please? Because we're a bit stuck for time at the moment. Okay, I'm going to try and be brief. In our field, we work with th in three programs. URADSPAT, ICAS, Empresa, and IREKI. Those are the, what, the names of the three programs. URADSPAT is for VET students and former students. We provide them with support to set up a company, if that's what they want, in ICAS Empresa, in the project called ICAS Empresa. We help them to see what actually entrepreneurship means. And we do that by concentrating cre creating a company. And we finish with, uh, with another program for all the VET teachers. And what's the aim of this? Well, for this entrepreneurial culture to be something that is present in the whole of our VET school, so that an entrepreneurial attitude isn't just the a challenge for some teachers, but a challenge for the whole of the uh, school itself. So ICAS Empresa uh, it, is trying to encourage an entrepreneurial spirit. Is it a subject? I mean, uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit about more about that? I mean, our company set up uh, through the URADSPAT program. Well, yes. When we talk about entrepreneurship as a self-employment or company creation, we need to remember that actually creating companies is a complex uh, and difficult program. And people who are entrepreneurs aren't just entrepreneurs professionally, they're prof personally entrepreneurs. So what URADSPAT's program does is try to provide those people with the best tools and resources to face this moment of entrepreneurship in optimum conditions so that uh, they can be as successful as possible. So through the URADSPAT program, what we try to do is to uh, turn FP, uh, VET vocational training schools into uh, like um, company building hotbeds. Other, including services, Within our VET services, we've got, for example, what we call the dynamic uh, person who, in, who accompanies the person that has got to the entrepreneurial idea right from the word go, right until the company is set up. Then we have an entrepreneurship office where the promotional group can work right from the uh, beginning of when the company is set up with all the equipment that they require. And finally, the a promotional group, which allows all entrepreneurs to use all our installations, all the machines that we've got to create prototypes, to trial their products, and even to uh, be there at the beginning of the company. What kind of companies have been created? What, what are they like? OK, within the URADSPAT, if you look at the, the, the legal structure, we've got 57% of companies are uh, one-man bands, 19% are PLCs, 15% are cooperative companies, the others are what are called uh, other kinds of uh, private limited companies. As for the number of jobs that have been created, we create, each company creates on average 1.63 jobs. 
and 82% of the companies set up a service companies. Service companies related to the training that they've received, such as hotel and catering, electronic and electric uh, maintenance, um, plumbing, etc. And the rest are industrial companies and agricultural companies. So you've got the figure you said of this person who's like the dynamic figure. I mean, how do you relate to the rest of the teachers? How many economic drivers or drivers or enablers are there? In these two programs, in the case of Uratspat and Ikas Empresa, I'm going to concentrate on Ikas Empresa now. We're talking here about like a pool of uh, students, pool of students that have the skill to set up a, a company. So we need to be clear that Ikas Empresa concentrates first on the schools and then to help them in the future, they've got the program that's called Uratspat, which is after they finished school. In the Uratspat program, we have a driving agents in 64% of the uh, schools. What are these driving agents? They're sort of like teachers that support people who want to set up a company. And they always, of course, have the support of the school itself and Technica ourselves. I'm going to carry on in Spanish. So these entrepreneurs learn to be entrepreneurs by being entrepreneurs. Uh, they go through the whole of the process of creating and setting up their own company. And for the ICAS Empresa team, head up by Pili Diez, what we have to be clear about is that what's key to this program are our teachers. If teachers don't, don't run risks, don't encourage people to learn new methodologies and don't want to give the main role to the student and the student will never be able to develop his entrepreneurial spirit because at the end of the day we want our students to be entrepreneurs either because they want to become self-employed or set up a company or because they can become entrepreneurs on their jobs in their jobs when they work for other people we want entrepreneurial spirited students in our schools. That's why we have around 200 teachers at schools involved in the ICAS Empresa program. So, welcome. I, there's something else I would like to for you to speak about. You've been abroad. And you've explained what entrepreneurship is in our network. You've also written different articles uh, for um, us, and you explained uh, about Technica in these articles. Could you tell us a bit about this uh, to finish this uh, part of uh, this uh, presentation? Well, the deputy ministry and uh, also through Technica, we clearly see that we have the uh, Basque strategy for employment for the year 2020. And uh, one of the principles in this strategy is uh, promoting entrepreneurship. So in this framework and as uh, Technica, we don't uh, uh, write uh, small projects, but what we do is to generate, first of all, an ecosystem with our students. Then we help them create their businesses, and then these businesses are just not left there. We continue uh, providing them uh, with support. All of this is important because these are not just uh, actions uh, that take uh, place a couple of uh, times through the process, but we go hand in hand with them through the process. Now, we're also going to UNESCO and uh, OECD to explain how this